Hello, world. Today, I'm going to tell you about rectifiers. You might ask, what the heck is a rectifier? Most power grids in the world produce AC current and voltage. The current and voltage alternates between positive and negative. But most electronic devices require all positive or all negative current and voltage. Rectifiers allow only portions of the positive or negative signal to pass to the device. To do this, rectifiers use diodes. A diode is like a valve. They switch on when the voltage drop across them is sufficiently great enough. This voltage is usually called V on. When the diode is on, it only allows current to flow in one direction. When the diode is off, if it's ideal, no current flows. We will assume our diode is ideal. A simple rectifier can be made by putting a diode between an AC source and the device it will power. This is a half-wave rectifier. The AC voltage source on the left is like the power company. The diode does the rectifying, and the resistor is how we represent the device we want to power. Sometimes this is called the load. We will assume the diode turns on when the voltage from the power company reaches 1.5 volts. Here is a graph showing how the output voltage that will power our load looks like with respect to the input voltage from the power company. The output voltage remains zero until the input voltage from the power company reaches 1.5 volts. At 1.5 volts, the diode turns on and acts like a resistor. As the input voltage continues to rise above 1.5 volts, the output voltage rises as well. You might wonder why the output voltage is zero when the diode first turns on, instead of jumping to 1.5 volts. This is because the diode is acting like a resistor and the 1.5 volts used to turn it on can be thought of as dropping across it. The output voltage is defined as the input voltage minus V on, so it makes sense if you think about it. As the input voltage begins to drop, so does the output voltage. Once the input voltage drops below 1.5 volts, the diode turns off and the output voltage is again zero. The diode produces an output voltage waveform that is half wave in pattern. This is why it's called a half wave rectifier. See how the load only sees positive voltage? In the real world, diodes are non-ideal. They leak, so a small amount of current flows through them before they turn on. Only computers and electrical engineers have to worry about that. There's one more thing you should know. Most of the time, the voltage from the power company is too great for our device, and we have to use a transformer to step it down. So most rectifier circuits look like this. The input nodes of the transformer are either connected to the wall outlet or some other type of AC power source. In the next video, we'll talk about full wave rectifiers. Goodbye.